Hello YouTube and um, readers on my site, if you are watching this from my site. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what Moom is and sort of supplementing my review on my site about um, just to show just to show you guys what it is and how it works. So first of all right here we have a window open and this is the dictionary app in Lion and let's say we wanted to make it full screen. Well what we would have to do if we didn't have Moom is go like this and then go like that. Not that hard but not that easy and definitely not as simple as it could be. Moom is designed to fix that so basically now the full screen or the the green button, green plus button in the upper left hand corner of a window acts as a sort of um, you know, control for the window size. Now so Moom if you don't know is designed to it's move and zoom combined. So first of all, we're going to press and click this little full screen button and as you would expect, it goes into full screen. If we press the back button, it'll go back. Now you can also decide to put it in the half um, size. So this would be the left hand half. This would be the top half. You can also put it in quarters if you click and drag like so. Moom also has keyboard shortcuts so you can control it using the keyboard. I have my keyboard shortcut set to control shift Z and it brings up this Moom, um, Moom window and it will fade out after a little bit. While in this mode you can press the space bar to put it in full screen and you can also press um, command and then the arrow keys to put it in um, half sizes and also if you do it quick enough you can put it in quarter so if you do it half and then up it'll go into quarter size you can also press tab while in that mode to put it in the center of the screen Moom also has a lot of preferences so if you go into the settings in here you can choose to run it as a standard application which will put Moom down in your dock down here you can also choose to run it as a menu bar application which is very handy and also you can run it as a faceless application so it seems more built into the OS you can also um, you can also do a lot of things like enable the move and zoom grid which will allow you to have this little grid down here and then you can drag boxes on it in that tiny grid and you can sort of get a little bit more control over your windows so let's go back you also have um, full controls over the keyboard shortcuts and some custom layouts. So we can put a custom layout like this and say move and zoom to the corner over here. Another cool, uh, another cool little thing that it has is it can save the um, save the window layout. So if we wanted to save the window layout as a snapshot right here, we add it as a snapshot. It says arrange windows and we can say um, useful if I know I'm not going to spell that anyway we'll save it as that save snapshot and now if you go into the moon you tap press anyway and it will put your windows back where they were before at least this one so this has been moon if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, I'm going to be giving away a copy of Moom in the future, so look out for a separate video on that. Be sure to subscribe to me, because it will definitely help you guys out on that. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Peace.